Stand on your word. I stand on your promise. Hello and God bless you all. Today, Pastor Orlando here with today's word for today, which is titled Motivation. Our scripture reading is found in 1 Thessalonians chapter 1, verses 5 through 8, and it reads, For our gospel did not come to you in word only, but also in power and in the Holy Spirit and with full conviction, just as you know what kind of men we proved to be among you for your sake. You also became imitators of us and of the Lord, having received the word in much tribulation with the joy of the Holy Spirit, so that you became an example to all the believers in Macedonia and in Achaia. For the word of the Lord has sounded forth from you, not only in Macedonia and Achaia, but also in every place your faith toward God has gone forth, so that we have no need, again, no need to say anything. Our daily power today says, I have faith, I am filled with the Spirit, and I burn for God. Our devotion today reads, The world cannot see what motivates Christians to shine brightly in a darkened place. In ignorance, they only see Christians as religious enthusiasts or religious pushers, Bible punchers or religious freaks. Unbelievers are like sheep who can't understand why human beings listen to music. Jesus told us that the Holy Spirit is not given to the world. That makes unbelievers basically different, almost alien as if they were from Mars. However, one candle is lit from another candle. The fire, the light of God is transmitted. That is why we are here. Paul the Apostle spent only a few days introducing the gospel to the people of Thessalonica. But a little later in a letter to them, Paul congratulated their enthusiasm saying, Your faith in God has become known everywhere. Faith lights the lamps that show the way. Send the light. We begin perhaps with no faith, a minus. But at the cross, the flame of faith leaps into our hearts, bringing the Holy Spirit, salvation, and forgiveness. At that place, Christ's infinite work is accomplished, and faith makes it ours. We believe and receive. The Holy Spirit translates all Jesus did for us into our personal experience. We are the lights of the world. The world likes to think religion is dying, but in vast areas of the world, the death rattle is heard in the throat of secularism. As Christ is to resurrection, godlessness is to death. They are both synonyms. People are not finding satisfaction in what mere governments can do and are turning to the things of the Holy Spirit. That is the situation. Have faith, be filled with the Spirit, and burn for God. Let the seven-branched lamp standard be ablaze in you. If you believe, and I believe, and we together strive, the Holy Spirit will come down and nations will revive hallelujah let us pray father god we just thank you for this day lord we ask that you put that burning light in us father god that will shine forth the name of jesus christ to a world that is lost lord and the holy spirit you will you will just reveal yourself to them father god lord so that they can see your power your magnificence and your salvation lord jesus use us for your glory and your honor in jesus name we pray amen Hey, I want to thank you all today for watching our video. If you haven't done so yet, please click on the subscribe button and join our community. Also, turn on the notifications so you can be notified of when we go live. I encourage you today to be strong in the Lord and in the power of His might. God bless.